Mary Jo Buttafuoco was with us 17 years ago. Mary Bu uh, Jo Buttafuoco wow, was there you are. a housewife on New York's Long Island. Mind in her own business. She was married to her high school sweetheart, Joey Buttafuoco, who owned a local auto body shop. Joey was having an affair with an underage girl, Amy Fisher, who one day knocked on the front door. Actually, went to the back again. You were painting. You had furniture. No, she went to the front. Door. I yeah. you were was in the back. Yeah, and she yeah. Came okay. Told me that. I came to the front. Yeah. <laughs> what she said. And you got <laughs> shot in the face. Now, the reason we're going through all of this is look at these for the whole generation that's come up since yeah. then. Mary Jo went deaf in one ear. Her face partially paralyzed. Your jaw was ruined. Your face mm -hmm. and all of that. She's now written a book called Getting uh, It Through My Thick Skull. And it's such a great book. what you have gotten through your thick skull is <laughs> what bullet? and height. Hello. Oh, good yeah. morning, and everybody. And bullet is still in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, getting Through My Thick Skull is after all these years, I realized I was married to a sociopath. A but very good sociopath. Why is it? I would think it's fair to say that most people think that, thought that right away. That why did it take you so long? What's the name of the book? Getting it so. <laughs> Which you Thank said. You, <laughs> and you're saying that your, your mother always used to say to you? All, as a kid, all my life, I grew up in the 60s and early 70s, and always my mother would say to me, when are you going to get it through your thick skull that you yeah. can't do this? It was a constant. Is she get it through your thick skull. She's a girl. I, I am. I know. Girl. We yeah. get each I know. other. So after I got shot, mm. I'm in the hospital. I, I knew I, I had been in a coma for three days. I wake up. They said to me, you've been shot in the head. And I'm like trying to you know, wrap my head around this. Like, who was that girl that came oh, to the door? Oh, and, and, and I see my family's around. And they look awful. It's been three days. You know, oh. they didn't know if I was going to live or die. Well, what the doctors gave you, a 50-50 chance. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they didn't think first. They didn't think I was going to make it through the night because I almost bled to death. So what I did is I looked at my mom and I took her hand and I said, you see, mom, this thick skull really came in handy. I love that you said that. You know what's amazing? A couple of years ago, you're sitting with your son and he sort of brings it to your yes. attention, the sociopath yes. thing. And he's like, well, dad is what you're like, what? You never he was the it. one who said dad is a sociopath. And I couldn't wrap my head around that. I thought that was like Charlie Manson, Ted yeah. Bundy, right. you know, psycho killer. But, but meaning what in this case? In this case, there, I have learned through the, my research on this, sociopathy is a spectrum. You go mm -hmm. from everywhere from the guy down the street who's just so toxic and makes you out of your mind to the murderers. And someone who's very obsessed with themselves. Very obsessed. Somebody they who's very charming. charming. There's the word. Yeah, but yeah. They have no conscience. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They have no value. So there's nothing I mean, in their head that, even, that says, I'm wrong to do even something. Even when you were in the hospital, recovering from your shot to the head, he's still playing like, I don't know what's going on here. They want to talk he, to this girl. And the, adamant. What, what's mm -hmm. worse, though, is after the recovery, and you're finally recovering, he's out there enjoying this limelight. Oh, that floored what, me. What, what were you going to say? He was adamant about what? Uh, I did. I had nothing to do. They was screaming it from the rooftops. They're lying. I never said that. I and never you said wanted it. to believe in their job. He convinced me. He convinced our families. He convinced all of our friends. I've been on this book tour, and I've run into a lot of my friends. I was in New York last week, and the first thing they all say is he fooled all of us. Yeah. But you also he said, but I, I, I am not having relations with that woman. <laughs> well, not only that, he just built Clinton. Clinton. I knew her. I fixed yeah. her car. Right. I mean, that he said it. he had you knew You also, Mary Jo, you needed to believe it to get through for a while. You needed I don't, to believe it. You know, what it may be, you know, I look back at that time. I mean, I was on a lot of painkillers. Mm -hmm. I was sick a lot of the time. I had a lot of surgeries. I was in no shape. The kids were my main priority. Mm -hmm. They were so traumatized. Mommy's almost murdered in front of their own home. Oh my God. Right. And so that was in my head, too. Like, I can't leave this marriage. Can in your neighborhood where nothing. Can you do anything like that? But nothing ever happened. I think I was the first shooting in, in uh, you know, half a dozen years. It just doesn't happen. And then you fast forward to all these years, and now, you know, obviously, uh, Amy Fisher, she's sort of back again. Her and her husband, Lou, got this mm. weird, she's pole dancing, the porno. And, 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 and Joey's, is he, he remarried? Uh, he's remarried, Jason? and he did his porn tape, yeah. and he's doing uh, his, I, I mean, Joe and I have not been together since 2000. Mm -hmm. Right. And I've been in this wonderful relationship now for seven years. So, like, I'm out of it. But, you know, everybody used to say to me, you should write a book. And I was like, I don't want to relive this. It's like, we heard it a million times. But, but my from point you. now, though, is not just that, but to helpfully educate people on sociopathic behavior here and maybe you are with your man very happy oh, my favorite story was when you said he called he says i'm gonna have a talk with him i'm gonna have a talk with this joey and joey comes over and he's like i'm gonna let him have and then joey comes in and charms the pants off and, play, and then you oh, go oh, yeah i you literally let him oh have he it. came to the house and said, thanks yeah. a lot Stu. you really gave it yeah. to him didn't yeah. you and he goes son of a gun he goes yeah. he does you, it. Is charming. Charming. It is. you look amazing Thank you. Which is saying something. I mean, you really had to be put back together. Yeah, I, I've been so blessed. Three years ago, I met this doctor, and I write about it in the book, Dr. Babaka Zizadeh. He's down in Beverly Hills. Yeah. And he's a specialist in facial paralysis, and which was, is what I have. 
on the right side of my face. Mm -hmm. And he helped, you know, I had this done, uh, this, I was shot when I was 37. I'm 54 now, oh, so Lord. the good side's kind of dropping. And the, the bad you know what, he but really balanced it out. He and, did. And Jessica, your beautiful daughter. She who, sends her love. I, love you, Jessica. Hi, Jessie, good morning. Great girl, and just so spunky and wonderful. And she really supported you. She went and mm -hmm. boy, did she unleash when she went. Was, was it Oprah, you guys? It was Oprah, yeah. yeah. They wanted me on because Amy Fisher was on, and they wanted me on because she did her book a few mm -hmm. years ago. And I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. you don't want to she was, I recall she was here, and didn't she find God? And wasn't that part of the whole thing? When In she her was porn here? tape, she found God. No, she was. Remember when she was here? Yeah, no, she's had several different lives. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, uh, I, I want to get into something else here because Steve turned. Be quiet, ladies. Yeah, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> That's a man's thing. Oh, okay. I love okay. you. I love you. Okay. 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 <laughs> because I'm better too. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> When this, this is when, <laughs> when this happened, when this happened, and it became such a huge story. Remember, this is really before the internet. Oh yeah. But it became huge. I started calling it. I use this phrase all the time: the butto fucoization of America. That this kind of story now drives out other stories. That Joey becomes a celebrity. Mm -hmm. That Joey comes to Hollywood and gets agents was to me a sign of. A society that whose values are really screwed up. Now you're part of this drama. Do you see it that way at all? I write that in the book. I said I, I was so sad and mad to see like he's liking this. He's enjoying this. Yeah. We've got an agent, and I'm like, how about saying, oh no no no, my poor wife almost yeah. died. Yeah. I you know I can't do this. And, and in this whole drama, I mean, I, I feel you're the one who's not screwed up. Well, thank you. <laughs> but was it odd that there were so many endless stories about it never, you and your family? Never ended. And when I was writing this, I had went to a lot of my family and friends, like just to really you know, jog my memory on this. And they all said, we still can't believe it. To this day, like how this and he says happened now, and still has legs. He late. says, in reaction to your book, well, what do you want? She's the ex-wife. What is she going to say? Uh, the ex-wife who's yeah. still carrying a bullet in her skull for a girl that, from a girl that you messed around with. I mean, come yeah. on. Do you still have pain? And I know there were drug issues too that you dealt with because yeah. of the painkillers i still do um but as i get older it gets a little you worse went to betty ford right so i you did you in 1998 it, okay. I, I wound up getting very addicted to the pain medication all right listen mary joe when's the musical coming out <laughs> <laughs> well i saw her have you seen her on stage <laughs> i was gonna say grant oh, that's right. Right. we saw the musical yes that's she right. was on stage with my that's husband yeah right. he loves you and adores you oh, i love him too. well it's great to see you look terrific thank you, you. Never yeah. much better you are going to be signing autographs thursday night Oh, Thursday nice. night yes, at Barnes, Barnes and Noble, Noble in Encino. Mm -hmm. Okay, you go to Cross the Rocks, you can have a bite to eat. And I then will. you sign the books. I will. And then at Costco in Simi Valley, <laughs> details of myfoxla.com. Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much. Okay. Great book. You will have thousands of people. Yeah, um, I think we're going to have thousands. Yeah. Okay. Is Billy Joel from Massive People? No, Harry no. Chapin. No, Oyster Bay. Harry Chapin. Oh, okay. uh, Oyster Bay, Billy Joel, yeah. Harry Chapin. How's yeah. Huntington? Huntington. Huntington, okay. okay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Alec Baldwin, uh, uh, Max Love. Yes, yeah. his father taught yeah. me. I went to Hofstra first semester. One semester. Does that count? That counts. Steve Edwards, count. the Bronze Store. Yeah. Lucy Russell Center. Uh, Steve Edwards. Lucy Hospital. Where are you talking about? Uh, Jill.